Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can make login and registration system in Breeze and we we'll let the user login either with their email, name or phone number. So using any email, name or phone number the user will be able to login. So I am going to show you everything from the very beginning step by step. So let me just close this and I will just first create a fresh Laravel project. So it will just take 2 minutes. So so over here let's open a command prompt and we are going to say over here in this command prompt let's say laravel new our project name will be laravel login breeze laravel login breeze let's press enter and it will create a laravel project for us so i'll just fast forward the video it will take around two minutes so here you can see the project is created and uh, here is the folder over here here you can see laravel login breeze so let's go and let's run our project so for it uh, we'll just show over here we'll go to the project directory so we'll show over here cd laravel login breeze press enter so currently we are in the project directory so we'll say right now php artisan serve so let's go to our browser and let's show over here on 27 this and this is the first created laravel project that we just created so right now we are going to install Breeze in this Laravel project. So for it, let's go and open another co command prompt for this project. So let's go inside the project and let's open a command prompt over here. Let me just zoom in here and here we are going to say composer require Laravel slash Breeze. Press enter and it will install Breeze in our Laravel project. So it will again take two minutes. So I'll again fast forward the video. So here you can see Laravel Breeze is installed. So right now we need to write another command which is php artisan breeze clone install. Then we we'll press enter again. And here we need to say which stack would you like to install. We'll say over here 0, 0 means blade. And then uh, do you want dark mode? We'll say no. Would you prefer paste init test instead of php init? We'll say no over here. So right now it will install and build node dependencies. So here you can see it is done. So right now we'll support here npm install. So after npm install, we'll say npm run build. So npm run build is also done. So right now we need to write the command PSP artisan migrate. So before that, let's go and create a database for us. So let's go to our XAMPP phpMyAdmin and and by default the database name will be same as our project name uh, let me just open the project using sublime text we'll just open the folder and we'll go to our laravel login breeze and select the folder let me just close the previous project and right now if we go to dot env file here you can see uh, by default the database name is laravel login breeze so let me just copy this and here we'll go to our admin, then click new and over here we'll give our database name and then we'll just click over here create so right now we can run our command php addition migrate but before that we are going to make some changes in the migration folder so let's go to our project and we'll go to our database folder and then migration folder and inside migration we have the user table.php we'll go over here and we want to use name email and phone number for login so since we want to use name for login so the name should be unique as well as email so let's just paste over here unique and we'll have one more column over here which will be phone so let me just paste it over here and we are going to show over here phone and after that we'll save it and then we'll go to our app then models then user.php and over here let me just copy this email and paste it here and here we are going to say phone which we just added in the table over here so right now we will run the command php addition migrate so let's go to our command prompt and here we will say php artisan migrate press enter and here you can see our table is migrated in the database so right now let's go to our database and let me just refresh over here and here if we go to the user table we have name field email field and the phone field 
so right now uh, let me just refresh our project over here so here you can see we have the login and registration field and if you click register it will take us to this page where the user can register but we need to add the phone number field over here in order to insert the phone number in the database table so for it we will go to our project again and this time we will go to resource then views and inside views we have auth and inside auth we have register.blade.php so we will go over here register.blade.php and from here i am going to copy the email field from here and we will paste it over here after email and here uh, let's just show our here phone and here we will replace email with phone so here for email it will be phone id it will be phone value and name let's just show our here phone and let's remove this autocomplete username from here here for phone number the input type it will be number not email so we'll show our here number and uh, let's also remove this uh, autocomplete username from here as well from the email field so right now if we save this then if you go to our browser then refresh here we can see we have one extra field for phone number so right now in order to insert phone number we need to make some changes in the code so let's go to our code editor and this time we will go to app then http controllers and inside controller we have auth and inside auth we have registered user controller.php so here we'll go down and here after email we are going to add one more field which will be for phone let me just paste it over here and stop email we are going to show over here phone and since we want to use name and phone number for login so name and phone number should be unique as well just like email so here you can see email and inside email we have unique this one so let me just copy it from here to here and we'll paste it for the name over here okay so after this let me just copy this name and after email we are going to paste it and here we are going to say phone okay everything is fine so right now let's save this so right now we should be able to insert phone number data in the database table so let's go to our browser let's refresh here and let's say our here name will be shakil and email will be shakil at the rate of gmail.com let's just give a random phone number from here let's give a password then we will click register over here and here you can see it's reloading and it took us to the dashboard so right now let's go to our database table and let's just refresh over here and here you can see name email and phone number field over here so right now what we want is that we want to be able to log in using name email and phone number so for it we again need to make some changes so here first of all we'll go to our login page and make some edit so let's go to our code then we'll go to again our resource then views then auth and inside auth we have login.blade.php and here you can see value equal to email so here instead of email we are going to say email slash name slash phone so let's save this then if we now refresh our browser here we have name email email name and phone field over here so right now what we will do is that here you can see name equal to email and type equal to email so instead of email we are going to say over here text the type will be text and here name equal to email instead of email we are going to say over here login name and let's also select all those email as well uh, this one this one okay so instead of email we are going to show our here login name so and let's remove this autofocus autocomplete username so right now let's save this again and here we can see we make the name equal to login name not email so we need to make some changes in the login condition so in order to change the login condition 
we again need to go to app then http controller then auth and inside auth we have authenticated session controller dot php over here so here uh, you can see public function create view return view auth dot login and here you can see public function store here you can see request authenticate if i just take my cursor over here on this authenticate option here you can see app backslash http backslash request backslash auth backslash login request dot php so we need to go to this location so if i just directly click over here it will take us to the location or what you can do is that let me just show you uh, you have to go to app then http then over here you can see requests folder over here we need to go to request then auth and inside auth we have login request.php which is this page basically okay so right now first of all here you can see return email stop email we are going to say over here login name which we just mentioned over here in the login.blade.php and here you can see email email is not required we'll just over here require and string and after that we'll just go down and here you can see public function authenticate void dollar this ensure is not rate limited and after this we have a if condition to check uh, email and password if they are correct it will let the user log in so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to comment out this if condition so i'll just comment this out this if condition and after this we will write our own code for login so here we will declare a variable we will say over here dollar user equal to user which is our table name table model name then we will give our here double quotation then we will say over here where we will say email comma dollar this this arrow sign login name login name so first of all uh, what we are doing is that obviously we are getting the login name whatever uh, we are writing over here and then what it will do is that we will first check if this login name is email or not after that we will check or capital WHERE or where we will check if that is name or not so let me just copy this part and we will paste it over here and instead of email we are going to say our here name and let me copy this or where again paste it here and here we are going to say phone just simple and whatever if any of them matches then we'll just get the first one so we'll say our here this arrow sign first so i hope i am clear but i will explain it again so first of all user dollar user so first of all uh, we are checking the login name matching with email then name or if it's matching with phone number if phone num if it's matched then it will store that in this dollar user variable so right now we'll give a if condition over here we'll say if and first of all we'll keep this not sign not dollar user if it if there is no such user so we are basically saying this then we'll give or sign or if the username do not match or the password do not match so right now we'll give this not sign then we'll show our here hash for password we'll give double clone then we'll show our here check to first bracket then we'll say dollar this password comma dollar user this arrow sign password so basically we are getting the password of the first password over here and then we are checking it with the user table so if either username or password do not match so we'll give to second bracket over here if it do not match then we'll just copy this to validation exception message with message from here to here we'll just copy this and paste it over here so here you can see through validation exception with messages here you can see email so instead of email we need to show here login name and we'll show here auth fail and obviously we also record to close them as well so if the username or password do not match so the auth will fail but if the username and password match then we need to send the user to the login page so we'll show here auth double clone login to first bracket dollar user 
comma we can just copy this part from here dollar this boolean remember and we'll just paste it after this comma user comma okay so basically the code is actually really simple so first of all we are checking if the username specific username email name or phone number exist if it do not exist we will fail the auth if it exists we will send the user to the login page and here you can see we used a user model over here so we need to mention the user model at the top of our request login login request.php so we will say over here use app backslash models backslash user and one more thing we need to use that is over here we use hash so for it we need to mention hash over here at the top so let me just copy this illuminate backslash support backslash packet backslash auth we'll paste it over here and instead of auth we are going to show over here hash so everything should be fine right now Every, everything should work properly so right now let's just save this and let's go to our browser let's refresh here again so right now first of all uh, let's try to log in with our email which was shakil at the rate of gmail.com so we'll say over here shakil at the rate of gmail.com and give the password so we are able to successfully log in with email now let's try with our name so the name was shakil so let's go to login page again let's say here shakil give a password press enter so we can log in with our name as well so after name let's try with our phone number click login and let me just copy the phone number from here then paste it here we'll give the password login okay for phone number we also have to log in now let's check if we give any wrong input will that work or not let's give a wrong password click login okay those credentials do not match with our records so everything all perfectly so this was all about this tutorial in this tutorial i tried to show you how easily you can let the user login using name email or phone number i hope you find this tutorial easy and if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section and thanks again for watching make sure to subscribe this channel to get more videos like this and i'll see you in the next tutorial